Welcome to Boat Show TV. In this episode, we continue our coverage of the Miami International Boat Show. First, we visit Skater Power Boats to witness their latest unveiling. Then we explore this stylish Shiata, a new 43-footer turning heads with its unique graceful lines. We follow up with MTI to check out the latest fishing version of the popular MTI SV and stop by Spectra Power Boats. Finally, we get the scoop on next year's new location for the Miami International Boat Show and finish off with an extended preview of our Palm Beach International Boat Show coverage. Let's go. It's time for Boat Show TV. Getting things started right, Skater Power Boats brought a wide range of high-performance boats to Miami, including a brand new outboard-powered catamaran. Here at the Skater booth at the Miami Show, a lot of activity as we get ready to unveil the newest with Peter Ledden, the creator of Skater, and a guy who pretty much gets up early every day and puts a long day in at the at the shop up in, uh, in Michigan. And Peter, I've met you at the shop several times. You're making it down to the show frequently last few years and you've always got some new dazzling product on display. What have we got here today? Uh, starting with the smallest boat, we have an 0430 called the 30 Classic, and uh, it's a kind of an entry-level skater yep. powered by a pair of 300 Optimaxes. It's a 100 mile an hour boat. The goal is to uh, have a boat available that does 100 plus miles an hour at a reasonable cost sure. with good reliability and good fuel economy. Now we go to the other spectrum here, the 50. Tell us about that monster. Well, the 50, this is a stretched and widened 46. Yep. Uh, the boat has been around, uh, the hull mold has been around for quite a while. This boat is a probably 170, 175 mile an hour boat with 1350s, which is nice because they're pumped gas and sure. you got good reliability warranty and so on. And it's an excellent rough water boat. And that's, that's kind of the top of the line. There will be a couple of newer boats coming out. I've, we've got a new... Uh, to compete against this, we have a new 43 and a half foot boat, okay. which is uh, going to be almost like a 388 on steroids. Okay. Then we've got another boat, a 52 running surface coming out uh, that I'm working on the plug now. Good. It's an actual 52 foot running surface and a 13 foot beam, and it's going to be a big boat, but it's meant to, you know, I know I've learned over the years that uh, you got to stay one step ahead of uh, the engine builders, and I I suspected Mercury would have a bigger motor by the time I got this thing sure. done, and yeah. sure enough, sure enough well, they got a, they got a 1550 and uh, you know fuel. Todd yeah dual fuel and Todd's got a, uh, a right now for right now he's got a 1800 horsepower pump gas uh, engine which is going to be great, yeah. and I'm sure he'll have something bigger coming out as well. So what the hell? Yeah, it's my bucket list 52. <laughs> All right, well then uh, that uh, is a nice segue now to. What's happening here now? We've got a big uh, introduction to a boat you've been building for several months. I know it's been in the planning stages for a couple of years. Bill Pyburn Jr., uh, obviously an avid member of the Florida Powerboat Club, has been on many poker runs over the years. He likes going fast. He likes his skaters. You built him something real nice. The cover is off. The goods are out for all to see and enjoy. And Bill Pyburn Jr the uh, inventor, creator of all things that go fast, uh, working with Peter Ledden, who we just spoke with. Peter, we didn't let him talk about the boat much, so Bill, it's your turn to tell us about your new boat. Building the new boat's sort of a passion of mine, and it's just enjoyable to start from scratch and build something new, and I, I was looking for the challenge again. So, obviously you, you let the boat building, you left that to your boat builder, Peter, but a lot of the stuff that you personally got involved in what was all? What was part of your strategic planning with putting this boat together? Obviously, engines was a big part of it. Obviously, interior paint, all that stuff. What was the biggest challenge? Probably the biggest challenge is really just making it all come together. And uh, you know, it's you, you put a lot of good people in place, but trying to just at, get it all to come together at the very end is the hard part. Um, but it was enjoyable. A year ago exactly here at the skater booth we had our first look at the Goodwin engines and uh, now we've got them built and in the boat. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that engine program. It's all new to me. 
All right, the good ones provide new technology and the, the motors aren't working nearly as hard due to the cubic inches, the head design. And so instead of running a motor and just, you know, really pushing it to the limits, we're now making great horsepower, you know, 1900 plus range on 91 octane and motors are in a really safe place.